Kabasin. And you could last for a while or you could go real quick, you know. If it's breathing for you, you go really, really quick. Yeah. Hello, everyone. On the on the bon. Oh. <laughs> All right, I'm just uh watching the waiting room to we got some other people logging in so we'll uh get everyone logged in okay okay uh cool. um let's see here uh to get us started um so goop coma to be able to be dot say. Oh, be dot say. Oh, pan nine, dolly. Double go, get Tom. And it go, it don't get eight mohema go motema. Um, a holy get on, dog. They on there and get on. Um, I'm going to revert to English now and say, Heavenly Father, thank you. 
for everything that you give us, including the day. And um, we um, are glad that everyone could be here today to meet and speak and learn Kiowa and um, be able to share that. And so it can be given on to young people to keep it going. Uh, we pray that you uh, bless everyone who is here this evening and keep them safe. Um, always also keep uh, Velma Ruth and our prayers to uh, Omaha. Amen. Amen. Aho. Aho. Okay, so for today, let's see here. Um, we have for our mentors, we have uh, Grandma Martinelle and Grandma D, and for our learners, we have uh, Kathy, Judy, uh, Tali, and I see Cody and myself, and we also have the Kiowa Tribe Education Agency. Mm. And I believe we have uh, Dr. Satok. So mm -hmm. uh, I'm not sure if, uh, Tony, if you would like to share any updates or usually we start our sessions with some updates and kind of sharing and see if anyone has any questions and then we jump into um, our practicing for credentialing. So can you hear me? Oh. oh, well, it's good to hear all of your voices again. Um, it's been a while since I've been on a session, so it's comforting just to hear you all speaking, and it's good to know work is. Oh. And it's just good to know that uh, all the work is continuing. Um, I did want to join and give an update of news that probably <laughs> is known to to a lot of you. Um, but we finally brought in uh, Chelsea Wright um, as today was her first day as the director of the department. So she went through the, the interview process, um, seems like quite a while ago. But for some reason, right now, background checks are taking a long time and processing to bring people on. There's just a lot of delay once um, HR uh, does their part and then they have to, you know, they have to submit certain things. But for some reason, the background check is just taking a long time for people across the board. So that's the big news. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In addition, I guess I want to say this, um, a melody that I got a did get a note from Dane before we went on here, and he said the credentialing board will meet on the twenty seventh, and he said the new director for the Kiowa language program will be attending. That was his note, so that's how I knew that they picked her. Oh, that's awesome. Well, that's super exciting. Thank you, Tony, for sharing that update. I know um, we've all been curious um, how the process is going. So that is awesome to hear. Um, and it's good to know that uh sounds like she's jumping right in there and on the schedule to join the credentialing board. So super awesome. Good news. <laughs> Yes, it's great news, and um, I I know that I've kind of just a recent, like probably maybe the last few months, um, I tried to to begin ceasing uh, cricket and encourage um, the language staff to do that too. The ones that are working on processing things uh, for NBR, so 
I feel like that transparency kind of helps so that they know like when it reached my desk and then, you know, when it w went through and when it goes to the next step. So I think she's going to, you know, try to keep all those things in place so that there's no misinformation and people know exactly where, if something's delayed, where it's delayed. Because if I ever had anything in my, in my queue, you know, I push it, try to push it through the same day, unless it's at the end of the day, and then it would be the being the next day. But so she's gonna, she's getting familiar with everything. It'll take her a little while to learn all the different processes, but I'm, I'm happy about it and happy to have somebody in that place. So I don't want to disrupt your session. So I'm just gonna go on mute unless there's any questions. Oh, it's awesome news. Thank you for sharing. Oh, very exciting. Uh, any questions about the update? Um, I was just also going to say that um, she does have some hours as a teacher um, candidate. She was in the program early on and then she had a baby and um, she kind of stopped out, but she seems very interested in, you know, picking that back up and she wants to encourage that among, you know, everybody to just continue on in the program, uh, even if, if they stalled out or what, for whatever reason things happen. But so she, she is, she is familiar. Um, and, and when she joins, I think she was going to try to join tonight, but maybe she might join the next week, but she'll tell you more about her background. She's got a lot of teaching background um, and different levels of education and also uh, language background too. So pretty excited. Awesome. Well, we'll be on the lookout for her to join. Um, so we'll just kind of stay tuned. Well, thank you. Oh, that's a good, good update. All right. Uh, do we have? Oh, go ahead. All right. Are there any other updates that anyone has and like to share? Can anybody share an update from the OU language um, workshop that happened last week? Or was that this week? Oh, yeah, on Monday. I think a Monday. few of us were there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see, who wants to start? I'll say something real quick, Melody, and I got to move away from the computer for a minute. Um, so, Tony, um, I was glad I was able to join that little group that day because um, in the end, the way that it was taught, I could almost speak Potawatomi. <laughs> I thought it was good. <laughs> but a wow. lot, lot, of, lot of good teaching tools in that, that uh, session. I enjoyed it. Yeah. We've learned a lot of new stuff. <laughs> That's great. That's my input. I hope to hear more about it. Yes. <laughs> oh, it was awesome. Um, Gutami Tali, would you like to share your um, perception, your reflections on that? Um, it was really nice, uh, especially when in the morning session, uh, they had a uh, round table where you could volunteer, kind of be uh, be placed as the student learner. 
Um, so it's really get uh, really neat getting to kind of understand uh, some of those stresses that students might have uh, with learning a new language, and then uh, also how that might be in an immersion um, uh, environment as well. Um, but it was also really um, it was also more helpful whenever Dane did his um, sessions as well. Um, since I was able to follow along in Kiowa, then I, I don't know, it, it also allowed me to see how Dane was using it so that I could, in a way, mirror um, that teaching tool. Um, and it was really neat also getting to see how there is peer-to-peer -peer, um, evaluation, in a way. Um, so that there's more of a comfortable level where, oh, rather than me messing up in front of the teacher, I can mess up in front of this student who's also learning and has the potential to mess up as well. Um, and it was also really neat seeing uh, more uses of comprehensible input as well. Um, and just more utilization of things where we can borrow images of like famous characters or things we already know um, and being able to associate words with those images. Um, it was really helpful. It was really good. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh, let's see. I know Cody was there, but I also know Cody has a class. So yeah. do you, would you like to add anything if you're able to, or put it in the chat, Cody? I actually don't have class today because um, I finished my midterm, so um, I'm able to get on. But um, I I got there pretty late, but I did enjoy it. Um, I enjoyed, like, we played the one of the immersion, I guess it's games, the verses at our language class at District 7 after. And we kind of got to show everybody. Um, me and Ramon went up there and showed everybody, like, you know, some of the stuff we learned. And, I thought it was fun for the little bit that I was there. Oh, uh -oh. it was uh -huh. awesome. Um, I I hope that there's more opportunities. It sounds like OU is interested in doing more workshops like that. Yeah. It was it was really neat to see how many different tribes were there, like from not just Oklahoma. There there's some tribes that came from other states to go to attend. Yes. That was really awesome, and uh, I felt like I felt the same. Uh, we got to learn like different languages. <laughs> I got to learn sock and uh, got to you know hear hear the languages spoken and get to practice. So that was really cool. My uh, favorite part was the uh, learning about the different types of immersion um, approaches. Um, especially in the context of teaching uh, kind of older learners, like adult learners and like kind of like high schoolers and thinking about um, the ways we could um, use immersion um, in our sessions. So what would be really fun to explore, I think, would be to think about how could we implement some of those immersion strategies in a virtual setting so to kind of think about ways that we can use some of those tools and the strategies that were shared um, in our Zoom sessions that I was kind of thinking about that. And it'd be fun to kind of do some brainstorming with all of you to kind of think that through. What what could that look like for us? Could we do it in a virtual setting? You know, um, that type of thing. It was uh, really a lot of fun, really engaging and lots of uh, really awesome examples shared. So I really hope that OU does more workshops like that because it was it was just so inspiring. <laughs> yeah. yeah, when I saw the lineup, I was thinking, man, people pay good money to hear these same people present. So I feel like that was great that it was close to home and it was free. Oh, for sure, for sure. Um, hey, I see uh Keonte and uh Moss just joined us. Um 
We were just sharing some reflections from the Monday's uh, Native American language teacher workshop. So um, I don't know if anyone has any other reflections we'd like to share. On day, on day, Bob Bone. <clears throat> oh. Oh, day, on day. Same. Oi, Bon. I did. Um, so Monday. Oh, in our in the Monday class, we did uh, we just did some of the stuff that we learned, and we did that on Monday, and then I did it again today at um after school tutoring, um with uh one of my high schoolers that's Kiwa, and so we did some of that. She was working on Spanish, and she finished her Spanish, and then we did it, and so she learned words, and she learned how. To answer, if I asked her what her name was, she she could tell me her name in Kaiwan in English. And so that was kind of cool. So we just, I just got through doing that today. So it was fun. And it was the the one that we had um, uh, where you do the, you know, Honda and a da or and a maton da or and a tali da. Anyway, so we were just doing that. And so she learned some stuff and it was neat. <laughs> that's really exciting. That's that's really cool that you got to kind of like immediately put that into practice. Very awesome. Oh, I really liked it. And I liked um like the that was like a really good way to show the difference between acquiring and learning. Really, really good way to show that difference. Cricket, um, this is Kiate Alisan. Um, that was a really good class on Monday. I really enjoyed it. Oh, really? It was fun. It was like a a group effort. Everybody, <laughs> everybody did something. It was fun. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I enjoyed it too. Thank. Glad that uh, Guthohi Tali and um, uh, oh golly, Dane. Name Hato and Koi Khan Hato Koi Khan. Uh, my tame key. I can't speak. Koi Koi my tame key. Yeah. Koi my tame key. Yeah. That was fun. And then I just, I like, I, I think it's been fun, like to do a little activity like that, do a conversation. Then I kind of, while y'all are eating, recap it with online people. And then do the uh and do a hymn. Mm -hmm. So I think that's a good format for us when we do hybrid. Mm -hmm. So I missed a class on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> Zoom part. Monday it's it's on District Seven's um uh, uh Facebook. She'll she'll put the link out. And oh. um and just join on the link at eight. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was busy with the with mom. I'm trying to get her down to Oklahoma, so I've been on the phone with District Seven. I mean, for like two weeks now. Uh, Manoa, so she's been a big help. She is a very, very intelligent person, and we're getting mom to Oklahoma with her twin. So that's what's that's what we're working on. So I couldn't, I. I wanted to go to that class. I'm sorry. So. Oh, yeah. And I sent the email out. So to whoever, I think your name's on there. It probably is. I just had, you know, I've got the five month old and then I got the 88 year old now, you know, I got, I just oh. got a power of attorney on her. So, yeah. And so I'm trying to get her settled here so I can oh. take her down. <laughs> oh. Uh -huh. first. Thank, mentioning that. Oh, that's awesome. Well, sounds like, uh, you know, there might be some opportunities to put some of that into practice right away. Um, so let's see here. Uh, what does everyone want to work on today? I don't know if we, I don't think we have enough. I mean, we could do breakout rooms if people need to do some one-on-one -on -one with a mentor, but um, I think uh, probably just stay in the large group. Uh, any 
any thoughts, any preferences on what we want to work on? I think we were working our way through the the nouns for nouns, pronouns, verbs. And we did kinship terms. Um, so what, and we did conversations, uh, conversation practice a uh, couple weeks. So any ideas? I keep liking the conversations. All right, let's see. So uh, does everyone, is everyone able to practice the conversations with us? So we have Cody, Judy, Kathy, Zutohi, um, Tali, and Kiyate. Uh, oh. Does that sound, sound okay with everyone? I can pull up my screen and we can look. Okay. Um, okay, tell me if you can see my screen. Oh. Uh, uh. Okay. So let's look at the um, lesson. So we've done a few. Um, let's see. Maybe if we start in the middle. Um, so lesson one is the greetings. Lesson two is the farewells. Lesson three is the open-ended statements. Um, Lesson four is understanding and knowing. So we can start with lesson four, lesson five. Let me see. Some of them are kind of short. Let me go to the lesson plan. Okay, so this is lesson four. This is with the goit. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, we have a couple kind of longer conversations here, maybe like conversation option one. What do you think? I'll, oh. I'll scroll through it slowly. Yeah, uh, mine's a salad. Salad, yeah. Oh, wait. Is that mine? Okay. I don't think I had this much food. <laughs> yeah, this I have. What does the uh, option one look? Paul, uh, lesson four, option uh, one. Yeah, lesson four, option one. Is that I got that one. Oh, okay. Uh, let me see. Do I need to make it bigger? Can everyone see it? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I can make it bigger. Way bigger. <laughs> oh. Oh, let me... oh. Okay. How's that look? Is that too small? Just right? It looks good. Mm -hmm. Looks good. Okay, so let's see. Uh, since Aunt Carolyn isn't there, <laughs> I'll pick on Cricket. Aunt okay. might be my buddy. Oh. <laughs> um. So I'll I'll be A, and then you be B, and then you can be A, and then you can pick someone, and then we'll just pass it on down the line. Okay. Okay. Uh, so. Monday on day in sun. Ha um al. Or is that right? Monday on day in ah day. Uh no al. Day on day in ah day. Oh oh. We gotta go back. I'm glad. What am I supposed to say? I'm glad. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh. How do I say I'm glad? Uh, I on top. I on top. Uh, on top. Uh, on top. Yeah. 
So and that so it's na auto. Is that correct? No. Mm -hmm. No. Okay. Uh on time. Okay. Right. Oh. Uh, I am quite uh yeah. Oh, Shonda are quite uh yeah. Okay, is this the next one? Is this the one that we fra we re uh, phrased last week? I think you I think just it, had is a it now? in front of you it. Put the ha in front of like it. Like a that question. Yeah. So, hi, I'm, hi, I'm Hyundai. Uh. Mm -hmm. uh yeah. Let's see. Um, am I learning Kiowa? Is that what I'm doing? Mm -hmm. I am learning Kiowa. Say that. Okay. Learning. Uh, oh. learning Tongya Mahema. Is that how I say that? Akoi Tongya Mahema. Akoi Tongya Mahema. You could just even say, Koi Tongya Gat Mahema. Gat Mahema. Koi Tongya Gat Mahema. Yat Mahema. And okay. this is the one that if we're saying, uh, if, if instead of we're saying learning, if we want to say teaching, then this is where we would say, uh, Yeah, if you're teaching it. Yeah. Oh. Like, okay, so on... we'll stick with the uh, English here. So, ha, oh, um, uh, there you go. Hey, go. One day. Use Kiowa understood. I get off. That's the verb. I get off. Mm -hmm. Uh, I am. No. Ha yan. Boy. Onion high. I don't know that one. Hey, so I'm going to cheat. I got to scroll up. Okay. For you is okay. Kiowa. This this one you know, is Kiowa. longer. Okay. Uh, let's see. Kiowa. This is a good one for us to learn. Ha. Oh, so uh, let's see. This one is ha he ga yan koi to hai ge da. So and then I would say ha shande yan koi to hai ge da. Ha. Ha. So ha. Okay. Uh, they get ag. Oh, they get I get. Hey, got him. Oh, I don't have to. Oh, hey, got him. Oh, I don't have to. I got him. Oh, ye. Oh, I'm all right. Um, okay, good. I'm all <laughs> <laughs> no hard for me. <laughs> all right, let's go back up now. Oh, Obaha. Okay. All right, Tony, do you want to do it with me? Are you listening? You still know? I can if I can refer to it. <laughs> it's all kind of rusty. Okay. okay. Um. Okay. Here I go. So you'll be B and I'll be A. Okay. I can't with see the screen. Oh. I can see the screen. Are you on your phone? Uh -huh. Yeah, I wonder if it's because I'm I'm driving. Hold on. Oh, oh, don't worry. But if you're driving, it will oh. be too hard. It'll be too dangerous. Yeah, be safe. Be safe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, Hold on. Now I'm pulling. I'm pulling off. Don't choose somebody okay. else. Yeah. Okay. Let me. Let me pull. Let me. Let's see. Who's on here? Okay. My next person I see up is Kiate. Ah. Uh. <clears throat> okay. Hande onde and son. Ha, I'm so. Hande onde and off day. Ha, ah, on time. Okay. Uh, I'm quite tall, ya. Ha, I'm quite tall, ya. A little bit. Oh, I was trying to scroll down. Okay. <laughs> ha, Hande. Hyundai or Arma, right? Is that right? 
And this is where I say goi dong ya gyap ma he ma. Yeah. Correct. Okay. Then for you, what is it again? For you. Okay. Okay. Ha hey ga yan goi dong hai ya da. Ha shande yan goi dong hai ya da. Mm -hmm, good. Right, go. Okay, so <clears throat> the next thing is oh, te get ag. Right? Uh, ha te get ag. Yeah. Uh, hey, guy, I'm going to ta to. Now, I don't know. Where's that one? I'm cheating. <clears throat> then uh, lesson two in the farewells. Oh, oh. And you would just repeat it. Let's see. In the farewells. Let me, let me go back to two. There you go. Oh, okay. Let me go to uh the page oh, yeah, with all cheat. the cheat sheet right here. Mm -hmm. Uh Hega Ha Hega aim oi don ta da. Okay. Da okay, next thing. Uh I give aim to ye. Is that what I need to say? Yes. Okay. And is this ha? Not all, or is it all? I'm um, all. I'm um, all. You just remember, I'm um, is you, and no is me. Ha ha. I'm okay. um, all. So, um is you, um. and um, not you, is, and is me. No is me. Oh, my and uh, there is a trick that uh Tim Yegu uh shared with us. He said he wait was it Tim? Maybe it was Ramon. I'm going to get them mixed up. But anyway, someone shared their trick was that the na is close to M. The N is close to M in the English alphabet. And so that's me. Mm -hmm. So that was how they remembered it. And I thought that was a kind of a cool little trick. Yeah, that's a good way. Another good way of learning. Can you say that again? Um. So... Let's see, let me go back up here to where we have that. Uh, so this, uh, so the am is you, but for the me also, Did she eat yet? Um, so that would be yeah. na model. And so the na starts with N, the letter N, and then me starts with the letter oh, M, and M and N are close to each other in the English okay. alphabet. So that's okay. how they remember okay. the difference. That'll help me. Okay. Mm -hmm. So M N. Okay. All right. Oh, hey, there's Sabine. Honde on the M Oi, well. Feel like I just saw you. <laughs> you don't need to study for it. It's just in vocabulary words. You can do your best on the test. It's just vocabulary words. Did you put your phone up on the menu for a few minutes? All right. Hey, uh, Dobby, we're hearing some background noise. Uh, we're doing a conversation practice, so let us know in the chat if you're not able to uh, participate so we don't accidentally call on you. <laughs> um, okay, so, Kiate, uh, uh, your turn. Anko, pick someone. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, I'll do, let me see, I got to scroll down. I will do, <clears throat> ask, uh, Tali. is he ready? I'm not ready, but is he ready? <laughs> 
โอ้ Okay. <clears throat> oh, I'm s a y on day a n c a u g h t day. No, it's a l I w o n t Ah, I'm quite. Ah, I'm quite tall, yeah. Oh. Sunday, a g o i t oh y a h a m han, m han de a n g o i t o n g ya get mo ham, or yeah, or, yeah, that's good. Uh, yeah. Now this one is I got to go back to listen to. Like, do you know? Ah, he ga ya g o i t o n g ha g e d a Oh, Sunday, y a n g o i t o n g hai g e d o They get a g y a Oh, they get a g y a Now I need to cheat again. What's then? I will again talk to you. Ah, h e g a i m o i t o n g t a d a Oh, h e g a i m o i t o n g t a d a And I should know this one. Pay for your travel. Oh, I, I yeah, am ho to ye. Oh, a ho, no, I'm sorry. <sighs> uh, me Melody, I'm gonna, I like to say something in here because they're doing that practice there. And I, sometimes we have time to kind of break down our phrases so that. The student learns it, you know. It kind of keeps it in their mind a little bit. And that next to the, the bottom one, there it says, "I'll talk to you again." Then I will talk to you again. That one. h e g o i m oi t o n ta ta. If you break that down, it's saying, "I'm going to be cutting words with you soon." Basically, that's it. <laughs> you just have to learn some of these little side things to help you. <laughs> Yeah, I'll be cutting words with you soon. Don ta, don is the language of the speech, and ta is to cut, cut that. So you're cutting all your words down so you understand what you're saying. Just a tip. Ah, oh, a h o mm -hmm. I uh -huh. love that. <laughs> you're cut words with you later. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. I'll speak to you later. I'll cut words with you later. Maybe we should uh, change that in the translation, like do the literal uh, breakdown, you know, uh, word by word. Mm -hmm. That might be helpful. What about over there in that English free translation? You could add that in there, like that, right under that. Well, on here, though, it says literal. And so that to me seems like then... I will talk again. Talk cut or word cut. Talk to you again. That's yeah. exactly though what it means. I'm just giving you a meaning what it what it's saying. You know. Oh, my daughter. <laughs> anyway, that's just a breakdown of that whole thing. There, I'm gonna go on mute now. Oh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Very, very helpful. Then I will. I like that. I always wondered what that what that was meaning because I was like, that's not like speaking. It's some I didn't I wondered what that ta was. Okay. Lesson. Uh -huh. Or Okay, so let's see. Uh Good, Tony Tali, your turn. Uh, pick someone. And also, d a b i said she is available uh, to practice if if we want. But uh, so, ah, go. Oh, good, Tony. Oh, I am a speaker B. Uh, speaker B. Okay. On day on day, I'm s a n Oh, I'm sorry. On day on day, I'm all day. I'm sorry. I own time. 
I'm quite a uh, yeah. Oh, Sunday, yeah, goy. You might have to go up to. Oh, Sunday, I go it. Oh, yeah. Oh, day on day. I'm Hyundai. I'm Hyundai. Ah, Jack go it on my hammer. So, huh? Oh, hey, go young go it on high, get off. Oh, Sunday, young boy, don't hide it all. So, ha, they pay, they get aga. Oh, they get aga. Oh, they got more than that. Oh, they got him, oi, don't tie it all. I got, I got him, hold, hold ye. I hope. Oh, my God. You guys sound good. <laughs> I hope. Oh, that was awesome. Yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, so, uh, Cody, your turn. Ah, uh, cool. Pick someone. <laughs> um, Courtney. On the own day in sun. We can't hear you, Courtney. I don't think she's in the Zoom anymore. Uh-oh. I think we lost her. <laughs> mm. Oh, wait. There she is. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Okay. I'm ready now. Okay. On day, on day. In sun. Oh, I'm, oh. Uh... Hunday on day and God day. Um, I do on know. Huh? I am going to. Uh, no. Oh, is it? No. 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 I'm going to Oh, Shandaya, going to Aya. I am Hadea. Let's see. I'm going to get going to get my name. Oh, yeah, go it on high, you know. Oh, hey, go, yeah, hi, get up. They get out, yeah. Oh, they get out, yeah. Hey, go in. Don't tie up. Oh, I got an oil don't have to. Oh, I forgot to say oil. Um, and then Tiger and Poe told. Oh, I'm out of. Oh, aho. Awesome. Uh, Dobby, uh, your turn to pick someone. Uh, cool. Who's not? Uh, Judy 
and did Kathy go? I'm already forgetting. Oh, no. Oh, Kathy's here. Okay. Judy? Huh. Okay. Um. Five more minutes. Okay. Um, uh, cool. Um, Hyundai, Hyundai, and Sun. Oh, I'm Sun. Um, Hyundai, Hyundai, and all day. Oh, no, sorry. I don't know. I'm good, are ya? How Sunday I'm good, are ya? I'm how I'm Monday on. Get good, down, my hema. Um, let's see for you, kind of language understood. Um, that one. Oh, oh, hey, hey, go, yeah, go, it's on high, get off. Oh, Shanda, young, go, it's on high, get off. Uh, let's see. They get again. They get again. Hey, hey, I'm all born so. Oh, then I will talk to you again. Sorry. Uh, hey, I'm all done. Ta da. Hey, I'm all done. Ta da. I get him. How to you? Ah, I'm sorry. That was a new one. Not a new one, but we haven't <laughs> talked that one in a while. <laughs> oh, I got either. caught up on on uh this one, this one right here. <laughs> That's good. I couldn't good practice. I couldn't put it together like the whole thing. I was. But thank you for scrolling up. Who? <laughs> oh, uh, let's see. Uh, so, Judy, your turn. Uh, I could pick someone. I think uh, Kathy, and then uh, and then me. So, and then I don't know. Uh, I saw uh, Tony logged back on. Tony, I don't know if you're still driving, but uh, would you like to jump in the rotation? Yeah, I'm parked now. <laughs> Oh, awesome. Okay. Uh, all right. So, uh, Judy, uh, co whoever you want to pick. Happy. Oh. Marco, I start. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh. Under oh. under and some. Oh, I'm subtle. I'm the only that. Not subtle on uh, on time. Um, scroll up. Start this one. Scroll up. Yeah. I'll start that one. Can you answer it? Ah, uh, I'm cool, Tanya. Ah, uh, John de ah uh, boy, Tanya. Ah, uh, I'm hundred on. Ah, uh, so mm -hmm. they
Kathy, do you want me to scroll up? No, I said, oh, I put my own in there. I said, ah, oh, saw day doll. Oh. <laughs> you would say, get, get saw day doll. Get saw day doll. I'm working, yeah. So, hi, young boy. Hi, young boy. Young high It's a long one. It's a long one. Hi, go young boy. Ha, hey, guy, young boy, don't high it up. Oh, Sunday, young boy, don't high it up. Thank you, Tiger. Thank you, Tiger. Oh, thank you, Tiger. Thank you, Tiger. Thank you, Tiger. Oh, Tiger. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Oh. Hey, girl, aim oi, don't, uh, no. Is that a, a, a pop tea? Uh, dog, or is it just dog, dog? On it. Oh, hey, girl, aim oi, don't, uh, dog. Yeah, talk. I got an oat, oh, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Obaha. Obaha. <laughs> oh, any feedback for us? Good. You guys are doing really good. I like that pronunciation. More and more. Oh. oh. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Melody, your turn. Um, I think uh Tony no is Tony. available. Tony. And then it'll be me. Oh. Okay, Tony. Let's see, where are you? Great forgot. <laughs> Hyundai on the aim. Hyundai on the aim time. Oh, I'm all. Hyundai on the aim. Oh, the. Not all. Uh, on ta. I aim good. Ha aim goi ta ya. Ha shande ya goi a ya. Over here. Oh, let's see, we came for something. Aim hande, aim hande a. Kathy, this is a question one. We just added a ha in there to make it a question. Oh, that's right. Ha aim ha aim. One day on. Uh, go it though. Uh, go it don't get a hema. Get. Oh, hema. Yeah. Go it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, hema. Okay. Hug. Okay. Uh, oh, hey, go. Young boy, don't uh, get dog. Okay. Oh, hey, girl. Yeah. Boy, don't hug you, though. Oh, Sunday, yeah. Boy, don't hug you, though. Okay. Oh, hey, girl. They get argue. Is it get argue or be argue? Yeah. Yeah. It's all good. Yeah, it's all good, right? Uh, yes, uh, yeah. So speak again. Uh oh, this is the one I'll cut you up. Hey got aim oi don't uh da. Uh 
Oh, um, then I will again Or talk Todd Dahl to you. again. Sorry about Yeah. that. Hey, uh, got aim. Oi, don't. Pardo. And Kathy, it's the word you're cutting up, not you. I know. <laughs> you guys are just making me laugh. Let's see here. You're just cute. Tag ya aim total joy ye. Ha. I'm out. Good. Oh. Over here. Can you go up to the phrase where you were saying they are you saying it's they all good. get I get yeah it's all good yeah uh, they get I get they get I get okay I don't know I was hearing something else I know you should have heard me on the radio. I totally screwed that one up. Yeah. <laughs> get uh, yeah. They get the uh, yeah. Okay. So the 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 day in Her, front of that. They, yeah. They get the uh, yeah. Same thing. Oh, I see it. See it. Oh. Okay. And this one. Is the they get uh, yeah, is one of the ones that uh, you can actually answer like in various ways, and when we practice this and we say this one, honey get on they, uh, our elders cracked up at us. I know, no, it's bad. <laughs> no, it's bad. No, it's bad. It's bad. It's good or it's all good or it's bad. It's horrible. Yeah. <laughs> they get or get on they. I gotta find where we were. Okay, here we are. Um, okay, so uh Tony, would you do you want to try to be speaker A and I'll be speaker B? Or do you want me to be speaker A and you be speaker B again? Up I'll try you. speaker A. You might have to scroll up on some of them, though. Uh, on day, on oh, day, I got gotcha. you. Yeah. On day, on day, I'm son. Oh, I'm out. Uh -huh. uh, on day, on day, uh, on day. Oh, is it they or ta? It's oh. the old name. Oh, they. They. On the old name. Oh, they. On the old name. Oh, they. Oh, no, I don't. I own time. Ha, I'm going to go. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. Sunday, I bought oh, yeah. You came for something. That one, I don't know. Oh, I'm holiday. Uh, Grandma, Martha, how's oh. it going? Oh, I'm holiday. Uh, oh, I'm on there. Uh. Yes, did you come for something? Oh, I'm holiday. Uh, holiday. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm holiday. Uh. Oh, I'm Boy, don't get get. This is a long one, so I'm going to scroll up. Ha aim goi do ha geta. Ha. Yan. Oh. Ha shande yang. Ha shande yang goi do ha geta. Oh, they get aga. Oh, they get aga. He got a oi don't ha. 
Love it. Hey, go. Cutting up words one. Yeah. All right, here. I don't have a. Hey, go. Am I don't have a. Oh, hey, go. Am I don't have a. I got employee. Oh, uh, I'm out. Mm -hmm. yes. And let me uh, go to, sorry, that's a farewell. So it's right here. I got in hoto ye. Obaha. We made it. <laughs> we did it. Oh. That was good. See, I need, I really need this practice. It's really, really, really good. It's me using phrases that I don't normally use. I'm oh, it's nerve wracking, but it's awesome to hear everyone. Oh, it is. Uh, is oh, that where you, oh I'm Otto. You say that, let's see, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Na, M and N are right next to each other. So <laughs> me is Na. That that helps. Yeah. And then, yeah. Oh, and I wanted to say it. Uh, practice. We had a language fair, a practice with um, with uh, Courtney's and Allison's, and uh, I think it was was it Connie Bread, um, with their with their kids, and it was really cute. And hopefully, I sent that link to you guys. I just tried to send it, so hopefully, it goes through. Um, Cricket, I want to say on that that uh, Marion listened into it, and she said the only thing it was really hard to hear those kids. So when they actually go over there and compete, they've either got to have something that people can hear them with, you know, because they're behind that chair thing that they had. They were kind of muffled a little bit with their words. Yeah, mm -hmm. just uh, they'll have to practice. Um, you know you know how we've practiced before just using your stage voice even though they're mm -hmm. behind just mm -hmm. still projecting out and putting that right. microphone right up to their mouth right so each time so um hi nora i'm, I'm so, always going uh okay thermal martha go ahead uh when marion listened to this over there in maryland the other night she said uh she knew something was going on but a lot of times she couldn't hear it real clear so I said, during the time that they compete, they have to make sure that the audience or the judges hear them because they're kind of muffled behind that chair. So you really got to project out there or have a little microphones click to them or something, you know, something like that. Make sure they're heard. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I, we will have a microphone and I think um well there was kind of some papers wrestling behind us or within the mix too so I know that that was part of it mm -hmm. so practice being louder yeah. <laughs> part of it they were i think shy too mm -hmm. so, but thank you for that because i don't i didn't think about that yeah so we'll practice projecting our voice oh I hope. maybe we can try to maybe we can try to get them on before they actually do it again on the zoom mm -hmm. what well, another time that uh I guess it would be the last week of March. I was saying, do you think we could do that? Ah, uh, we could do that. Well, that'd be fun. So the 27th, we'll get a preview. <laughs> yes. Get a sneak peek. <laughs> Excuse me.
I was gonna make a call. Josh did yeah. the right thing without reading last night. So Paul. Oh uh Keonte, uh Miss Marion has a comment. Oh yeah, I was just going to say I could not hear what you know. And so, like, uh, at first I thought it was an old tape that was playing because it was so quiet in there. And um, then I had to listen. And afterwards, you said it was the children presenting something. But uh, I'm not criticizing, but just think that if you could afford it, if you had, if they had to be in the back of a curtain, then. There should be an investment in some, you know, microphones that can clip to their, uh, close to their faces. Where the signal could be moved. Because I think that the children <clears throat> are a bit shy. And I'm not sure if uh, projecting their voice would help. And I think the small, um, Clip on microphones would assist, but that's just the comment. Okay, we could try to check into that too. Thank you. I know that's the thing I'm most worried about is hearing them. Well, that sounds awesome. And that's good, you guys. You're doing something with children working. Fantastic. I can't wait to see it. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> we appreciate the um helping us out because um, if we don't know that they can't be heard, then we won't correct it and we want them to be heard. So thank you, um, Grandma Marion. That's really um, helpful. I hope. Yes, and those kids will be speaking better than us pretty soon. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, hop in. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, let's see. I think we only have six minutes left. Um, let's see. Do we, I don't know, uh, Courtney, if you had a chance to share. Um, we did some reflections on the uh, our, the workshop, the uh, language workshop that we went to on Monday. Um, I don't know if you wanted to add anything to that or if anyone else would like to add to the reflections just to kind of share with everyone. I really enjoyed it. I thought they, the um, Dane and Melanie and the rest of the language department uh, did a really good job. <clears throat> and the, um, the, I liked because whenever I started No, uh -oh. we lost her. <laughs> Maybe she'll jump back on. No, she was getting ready to say something good. <laughs> I know, I was ready. <laughs> oh. uh, well, I'm sure she'll reconnect if she can. Oh, there she is, there she is. <laughs> Bean, we lost you <laughs> right when you started. <laughs> I know I'm having all kinds of problems over here. Um, but what I was saying is that the when I studied, started kind of studying and trying to learn about uh, teaching a language, because that was uh, 
you know, it's very, it's, it, even though it's teaching, it's still different than, it's different teaching a language than teaching a, another type of class. And you would, I would look up um, how they would teach world languages and you always saw it in, you know, the common ones, Spanish or German and um, so many examples of that. And it was really good to see it in our tribal languages and how it could be um, done that way. And then the it reinforced the uh, TPR and um, getting to see that as well as uh, making the lessons, how important it is for learners uh, to make the lessons digestible. And he did a really good job of it. And I really enjoyed seeing that. And actually this morning I was thinking uh, about, uh, uh, I guess, I think you say no, okay. And I was like, dang, I remember that. This morning I was like saying something and um, it made me think about, it made me, whenever I was saying no, Hane, and then okay, I don't know what it was, but. I thought, hey, that stuck with me two days later. So it was very good. And I didn't get a stay for the afternoon. So hopefully whoever can share their notes or recordings, then I'll be able to catch up on that. I think that I will definitely try to go to another one if there's um, more PD like that. I think it was very helpful and just kind of makes you feel more confident in trying to teach because that's uh, one thing that I think I really need to gain that confidence to to teach it on my own. Um, of course, I, you guys are all doing really good. Everybody who's, who's currently um, teaching the language in classrooms and communities. And I think it's really good. So <clears throat> I took a lot away from it. And those were, if you can kind of um, adapt it. And I, I hear where Cricket, when we talked about it Monday, it was, um, I think Cody and Cricket and us were kind of talking about how it's still, there's, you know, that's that, that, outlining it adapting it to Kiowa that would there's parts of it that would be a little bit challenging but I believe in us I think that we could you know if we worked at it as a group that we could try to get it there um yeah. to some different lessons and just try it and I think that this like this place on Wednesdays would be a place that we could at least try and practice it so that we could go into classrooms and feel good about it and give each other feedback. So that would be something that I would be willing to try to do. Um, if, if we wanted to kind of model it for each other at some point. Obaha. Oh, really appreciate that. Courtney, um, if, if you want to hear some about the afternoon, uh, we shared some reflections uh, in the very, so listen to the beginning of this recording and uh, kind of hear some of those reflections. Um, a couple things I heard just, you know, as kind of from all of y'all sharing, I'm wondering if, uh, so for me personally, I got some ideas uh, that I want to incorporate because I'll be teaching a level two, a Kiowa two class at Weatherford High School. So they'll, they'll be level one and level two. And so level two, I think, is a good time to kind of do some of that, those really intentional immersion activities. And what if we did like a teacher sharing night or maybe a couple, you know, on Wednesdays, maybe we could uh, each week be a different teacher, but whoever's teaching in the classrooms or community, if we can like basically test out a lesson plan with the group and kind of model or provide the lesson and get feedback from everyone like you said we could do that over the summer if people are interested um, but I, I would love I mean that would be really helpful for me to hear some feedback you know things like that so 
um, especially since I'll be building a new curriculum for the level two class um, and then refining my level one curriculum for next year. So uh, I love those reflections. Oh, uh, and one of the things I wanted to know, we were, Melody, you were working on, um, I mean, gom gedagima, you were working on um, trying to do that, pro, like the re, uh, Kiowa style pronoun chart and, uh, and how they were doing it. I was like, I, saw, I, I keep wondering, did you, did you get it down? Were you able to do it? I actually made it into a, uh, like a sun, a circle. Okay. With the okay. with the sun rays going off, um, but uh, still working on it. But you know, have some ideas. But it'd be fun. We could do an in person work day. I I think that would be amazing just to bounce ideas off each other. I'd like to see that because I've been working a lot. I was hoping to see Dane, but what I did when I was studying those noun verbs, I put them on index cards. And it wasn't until I laid them down all on the floor so I could just look at every one of them. And it's just, then you can see your patterns that we were talking about things. So, yeah, we need to. <laughs> I think my favorite was the storyboard because you're, you, you're using a lot of language and sentences and um, understanding and then the sign language with you know, and say Hane or Ha and using the sign language with it. Um, if, I don't know, that was my favorite, I think. Oh, I love the TPR and the sign language. And I think I was really paying attention uh, when Dane was up there doing his presentation because I know he uses, he uses the Kiowa dialect of Plains Indian Sign Language. So that was really cool. I was trying to take note of all the signs. Um, and I love that because uh, what little signs I know, I've incorporated that into my class this year for level one. And the students, like it really helps them connect to to the words and to the phrases. Um, and, you know, then they start they start getting all those. Um, so I would love to just explore and practice more. And um, I think we should we should seriously think about a, a teacher work day at some point in the summer or, you know, whenever people are available to just focus on like, you know, let's brainstorm some lesson and plan ideas. And I'd love to kind of think about a Kiowa, uh, what is it? All I was thinking about all day on Monday was like, we're, we got to decolonize our mind <laughs> um, <laughs> and like think about what, what's the, what's our uh, indigenous, our Kiowa perspective on all this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you did all the, you, did you, have you been able to finish that research on Kiowa methodology or pedagogy? What were you doing? It was was it methodology or pedagogy? Uh, both. Oh. Okay. okay. Did you have a conclusion on that? <laughs> oh, it. Uh, it's. I. I think. Um, I think that we should all have like, I'd love to kind of think about reflections on like from everyone as we kind of think about teaching. Cause I like that uh, uh, Messiah, when he was presenting, he brought up, you know, the idea of uh, really thinking about pedagogy as a teacher and as a language teacher. And that's what made me think like, all right, so we need to, when we're approaching these like immersion, like we really, yeah, we can see ideas from other languages, but we also have to, you know, teach it from our Kiowa perspective and use our pedagogy uh, to teach. And so that would be awesome to just kind of do some reflections because we have, you know, everyone here has has taught or is interested in teaching at some point. And I think it'd be awesome to kind of, you know, think about that and share, you know, share some ideas and thoughts with each other at some point whenever whenever we can you know, find time. Yeah, I like that. And I just want to remind everybody that um, we still need to, um, on the NVR grant, we still need to do the youth camp. And uh, I think they're looking at doing it on June 7th, which is a Friday. 
from 10 to 2. And I think um, Linda is like putting together like an itinerary of different ideas. So. Just a reminder. Is that something that we need to um, take some time in one of our Wednesday sessions to work on? Like we did with the outreach? Yeah, probably. But I think like the language department needs to get together and kind of figure out, you know, what they feel is good because they'll be working, probably working with other departments. And uh, and so then, then we'll just go in there and fill in those spots um, with uh, different activities that we may want to do. Like for youth, like, you know, and rotate them around. Like one time we were thinking about archery, there's games like that song idol, there's the gaming wheel, um, there's uh, the study stacks game. Um, you know, there's lots of different things you guys, uh, you know, can think of different things to do. Um, but I think the language department needs, to, will probably get together first and see what, how they want to work it out. Oh, awesome. Well, we'll look forward to that. Very, very exciting. All right. Is there Are there any other updates that anyone wants to share? I know we're a little bit over time. All right. Well, if, if not, then uh, we can go ahead and wrap up for the evening. So awesome, awesome practicing. Uh, so right. let's see to close close us out. Um, can I have, grandma, can I say um, grandma. Um, or if you're able to say that, sorry. I think Cody was wanting to say something. Okay. Yeah, I was. Oh. Yeah, I didn't interrupt. Okay. I was. I just got off the car, but um, it's not like an update. It's more so of a proposal. So um, we had our first club meeting yesterday and it went really well. And um, in the next month or two, we want to have a language night and we want to invite um, the language program, whoever wants to come um, to one of our meetings and just, you know, kind of like talk about just the language because um, some of the people that came to our meeting and um, they haven't really studied the language but they want to um but the cool thing is like four out of seven of us on the exec were in the language program me hijona lily and angel and um, so yeah we just want to have a language night and we want to invite everyone to come and i'll let y'all know more about it but i just want to let y'all know that oh, oh. And oh I don't know. that's awesome That'd be amazing. There's one more announcement that's coming up on the 21st and 22nd. There will be a um, spring break field trip for any or for Kiowa families, um, all kids under 18 to the Science Museum. And Thursday, the they're chartering a bus. It's going to leave from Carnegie. And then Friday, the bus will leave from Anadarko. But the you don't have to worry about driving. You don't have to worry about car seats in those charter buses. It's not required in those because you have a professional driver. But they're providing that and the admission to the museum and lunch. And District 7, uh, they know that some people would not drive down to Anadarko or Carnegie. So you can meet them at the museum too and go in. That is awesome. What what age? The date. Um, all ages. All ages, because I literally had a girl, and she's in high school today. She's Kiowa, and she was like, "Can we go to the science museum?" And then <laughs> that is so awesome. So I will. Um, I'll let her know. And where do where would she sign up for it? 
Um, it should be on all the tribal Facebook social media pages. It might be on the website as well. Okay. But it's just a, there's a QR code on the flyer and it's a Google form that you fill out. Okay. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. I'll be sure to invite her. Okay. That is so cool. I'm uh, looking for the flyer right now so I can put it in the chat. Uh, I think I found it. Okay, if you have, uh, well, I'll, I'll upload it in the chat. Um, there it is. Okay, if you have access to the chat, um, the flyer is there. Uh, and if you have your phone and you're on your computer, you can scan the QR code. So here, let me share my screen really quick. I don't know if you can see it. Um, ah, trying to zoom in, but I don't know. That's awesome. Very awesome opportunity. All right, hopefully everyone can download that from the chat. Aho, Tony. Aho. <clears throat> All right. Uh, okay, uh, any other announcements? Comments, questions before we wrap up? All right. Um, let's see. Oh, well, I do have a question for everyone. Um, Hande Matsaita. Um, next week is spring break for a lot of schools. Um, do we still want to meet? Is everyone able to meet next Wednesday? I just want to double check before we send out reminders for next, but that would be uh, the 20th, March 20th. I'm available. Okay, somewhere on travel hall. I'm available. I'll be here. Okay, uh, next week uh, for uh, our Wednesday session, I just want to double check since I know it's spring break for a lot of schools. Oh, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll. Okay, awesome. Oh, all right. Well, it sounds like we have a majority and if if you know if someone's not available we'll get the recording posted for you to watch it and follow along so all right well we'll go ahead and meet next wednesday the 20th um, i'll send the reminder out and the follow-up so with that we'll go ahead and wrap up for the evening uh pihok yama bedatsai I don't feel the fatal Gemma Hamer, but Tom Doggy, they want the in high, you know. They want and that's I don't get, get on my dog, get it paid, I hold it, get on my, get it, I get on. But on the, get time, get on. I hold it, they hold it, and I get it. And do I am tired of my dog, get it, 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 Agger. Agger, they hint, they hint, they hint, they hint, 
tratada ou de caída. Aho, que gera uma. Obaho. Aí, com a pedra de dó, tata. Obaho. Aho. Aho. All right. Aho de batha. Ega ba oi tong tata. Ega ba oi bong ta. Ah. Aho melody. Aho de. 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 Aho de.